people like to study the signs of the zodiac and their horoscope. Do you ever check your horoscope? Sometimes. I'm into it. Yeah, and newspaper sometimes. Newspaper I believe. sometimes? Mm -hmm. You believe, really? I believe. Oh, good. <laughs> Excellent. I actually got these from a gift shop. They're these little cards. You can give them to like, friends and has a sign on it and stuff. But I'm going to use this as a, like an experiment. Um, before we go any further, what is your sign of the zodiac? Do you know? I'm um, Scorpio. A Scorpio. Here, I'm going to get rid of these cards. And you could have stopped at any one of these cards. Should you turn it over? Wow! <laughs> How did you get that? <laughs> that was so cool. There are a few things built into this routine that makes it super powerful. The first is that it's based on the spectator. The spectator is actually the prediction that happens later on in the routine. And it's all about them. It's about their personality, about their past, about their future. Does that sound like you a little bit? I hate to say it, but yes. Yeah, it does. a little bit. <laughs> when something's about somebody, they're instantly interested in it. Secondly, it plays off of all of the lore and mystery of the signs of the zodiac. Uh, what I'd like you to do is cut the cards and leave more on the bottom than than the top part. So just grab some cards there. We're gonna make a calendar around the pile that you cut. Okay, so this is gonna be number one. I want you to put your finger there to mark that as number one. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, like the months of the year, okay? okay? You cut to a spot and you don't even know how many cards you cut. Now, do you believe that when, when you make choices that they, they could be somehow kind of manipulated by the stars or by Yes. Your sign, you think so? Sometimes. Uh, people read their horoscope, they're entertained by this. So by using that, you're instantly going to have an intrigue and an interest for your audience. You cut one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards. Okay. You cut nine cards. So starting here, I want you to count around the circle. That's one, one, two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Um, before we go any further, what is your sign of the zodiac? Do you know? I am a Scorpio. A Scorpio. Okay. Interesting. Um, do you think it's more likely that you cut nine cards because you're a Scorpio? I don't know. The instructional DVD will teach you how to perform the trick. The trick itself is super easy. There's no sleight of hand, no memorization work, and it instantly resets itself. Did you turn it over? Wow! That's your sign. That's my sign. Not only that, though, you cut the cards, and it seemed random, but you actually cut that Scorpio. Wow. Along with that, the DVD teaches you how to use these beautiful cards, which are included, to do some other amazing routines, as well as bonus handlings. Every no. single one is a perfect match. And my favorite way to pass out a business card. Where can you get some of those? <laughs> Here, you know this one. If you use magic as an icebreaker to meet people or as a way to leave a lasting impression with people, this routine is going to work really well for you. My name is Chris and I'm very proud to introduce Zodiac.